Nick, you're wearing an LA Lakers top. You did so on the court. Just tell us about Kobe Bryant. Have you ever met him? And what did he mean to you? Um, no, I never met Kobe. Uh, but you know, basketball's packed in my life, and I watch it every day. And I've been following it for as long as I can remember. So, obviously, when I woke up to the news, it was pretty emotional. It was pretty heavy. Like, just all day, it was just kind of... Um, obviously, I was having basketball on at my house, just watching the games, but it was just heavy. And... Uh, yeah, it was just tough. Um, yeah, it's, it's horrible news. Did it, affect you? Did it emotionally affect you at all? Um, no, I mean, if anything, it motivated me. Um, you know, every, if you look at the things he stood for and, you know, what he wanted to be remembered by, um, I felt like, if anything, it helped me tonight. You know, when I was down a break in the fourth, I was definitely thinking about it and I fought back. And, you know, Raffle, Ra I thought Raffle was really good tonight, played too good. I mean, I had chances. I was a couple of points away from, you know, the, the third set and the fourth set, so it happens. But yeah, I mean, if anything, it helped me today. Nick, how, how pleased, how proud are you of the way you played the whole, the whole tournament? Um, I mean, I'm shattered that I've lost tonight. Um, obviously, it was one of the matches I, you know, these are the matches that I want to win the most. But... I mean, overall, all this summer's been fun. You know, my, my uh, focus shifts to mix now. And <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I just want to go out there and have fun. You know, I'm still in the tournament, so I'm not going to take it for granted. Another day at the Australian Open, so. Kobe had so many great qualities from the love of children off court to that fierce skill sets he had on. What, what did you love about his game and him as a man? I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Celtic fan, so when I saw Kobe do what he does and break the hearts of so many Celtics fans, it was tough to see, but uh, I, don't, I don't think they make him like him anymore. He was different, you know, the way he trained, the way he did things, the way he played was was special. Um, it's just sad, like, when I think about, like, it, my life's literally basketball, and I think about it, it's heavy, like. Cold and windy and pretty slow out there. I'm just curious how tough that was for you, kind of playing the game you might want to play against him. Yeah, I mean it was def it was really really slow, uh, especially when the sun went down. Um, I thought the halfway through the second, third and fourth were really really slow. It was freezing in that arena, and I mean I just couldn't get a wall past him. You know, I was trying to serve volley, trying to drop shot. Eventually, I'd have to win the point like three times to win a point, but that's just the champion he is. The player is he makes you play the extra ball <clears throat> I thought he played well you know considering how slow it was I mean he served really well I thought hit his backhand slice really well I mean he played well and he just played the bigger points well better than I did in terms of progress this summer do you feel like you've made significant progress um, yeah I feel like I've made progress as a human uh, a tennis player I don't really care about as much but um, yeah I mean I feel good. I want to. Obviously, today was horrendous, like the news. But I want to keep going in this direction for sure. And sort of on that on that theme, Nick. Where where are you playing next? And do you think you'll be able to carry forward the kind of gains that you've made in the last few weeks? Um, well, I'm scheduled to play uh, New York, and then Delray and Acapulco. But I don't really want to think about that. As I said, I got the fifth seeds in mixed doubles tomorrow, so that's all I'm thinking about right now. And how do you rate your tennis at the moment compared to when you made the quarters back in 2015? Um, I mean, I think I'm playing better tennis than I was. Um, you look at my draw back then to the opponents I played this time around, it's probably a lot tougher this time around. Um, but I mean, you know, looking how far I come, I guess there was only 15 players better than me in the draw. <laughs> that was for Zverev, but that was a joke. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like I'm playing good tennis. I mean, as, as I said tonight, I was a couple of points away from you know, winning, but it's how it goes sometimes. Nick Raffle was very complimentary about you court side, and he's just been the same as similar when he came in here. Just now, just saying, if you play that level, keep that level, you can contend in any tournament. How does that make you feel when he speaks so positively about you? I mean... <clears throat> I appreciate it, one, but I mean, I already know that. Uh, I've known that for the last four years, but the trouble for me is being able to actually just produce the same attitude over and over again. 
So, I mean, hopefully I can keep doing it. I mean, I'm just taking it day by day, trying to be positive and just bring positive vibes. Honestly, have you kind of learned anything about yourself the past sort of couple of weeks? Um, I've been like this for, for a long time. So you guys probably learnt some new things about me, but I haven't changed much, to be honest. I think, you know, uh, having that bigger picture, you know, with the bushfires and everything going on in Australia, um, has that really kind of given you a greater perspective as a player and as a person to really, you know, fuel into your game? Yeah, I think, I mean, I always had pretty good perspective. I always had... Um, but I mean, if anything, it, it did fuel me and, and made me play harder. Um, and you know, they're still going and everything's still going. So yeah, I mean, the last couple, last month for me has been pretty, it's been pretty hectic, been pretty emotional and I'm, I'm pretty tired, but you know, I want to try and continue to help where I can. And I mean, yeah. You match with the same scoreline in the Wimbledon match. I'm curious how similar or different it felt out there today, just as a, as a battle? Um, I felt a lot closer this time, uh, especially in that five-all game in the third set where I was a deuce a couple of times and he played some unbelievable points. I felt like if I had got that third set, I would have really, uh, really been on top of him. I, I was kind of feeling the match turn a little bit. Uh, if I broke in that game, I thought I was going to raise my you know intensity and my energy, so... I mean, I definitely felt a lot closer this time around. The one at Wimbledon, I felt like I wasn't playing as good, I don't think. Um, yeah, so slow today, though. Jeez. Uh, Nick, after you had such a massive battle two nights ago, were huh? you ever concerned about being able to back it up or, or, or very, you know, you felt fresh coming out today? I felt good. Um, did the right things yesterday. I felt good today. I actually felt fresh. I was ready to go five if it needed to get, uh, to get there, but I feel good. Are there any plans to work or keep in touch with Leighton going forward or to have any sort of contact with any sort of mentor? Well, yeah, he's a Davis Cup coach, so I'm going to have to text him every now and then. Uh -huh. If she gets through, do you think she can cope with the expectation or the, the interest that's going to be placed upon her as she keeps going further in this tournament? 100%. No, she's a Grand Slam champion. Um, she's been dealing with that expectation for as long as I've known. Uh, she, she was killing it in juniors. <clears throat> um, and then she stepped away from the game to sort, sort, sort her life out, her mind out, and then she came back and she's killing it. So, I mean, of course, I think she's probably the favourite at this stage to win the slam, the way she's playing. <clears throat> And I wanted to win it. I think it's awesome that we have an Aussie doing that well. Um, I mean, she'll 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 do fine. Just don't put too much expectation on her.